Hey everybody, 3KO Games here, and we have some brand new costumes to talk about in the Dunes Summon. So let's jump in and take a look. Um, Alright, Hathor is featured again. She's still a prize. If you don't have her, I don't have her. I got lucky to get the two other healers from um, this season who are great, Hedda Furies and Cleopatra. But this costume is insanely good. Um, and now we have costumes for Hedda Furies. Yay, I have Hedda Furies, so my gosh, if I could land that costume, you know, for, for nothing other than the costume bonus 13, 13, 21, and 5, um, it would be awesome. But let's dig in more to what this costume does. Um, monk class this time, rather than cleric class. Um, and we have... 54% recover health for all allies as opposed to 50. Um, so that's a slight increase. We have a slight decrease in the defense up against nature. Original was 84%. This is just 64%. Uh, that increases if they are hit during the next four turns. Um, and then increased blind, the original was 40% accuracy for four turns. This is now 45% negative 45% accuracy for four turns. I think they tweaked these stats correctly in a way that is um, makes this hero, makes this costume even stronger. Um, when I use this hero, it's mostly about health recovery and it's about blind for the enemies. I like both of those. I do try to think about the defense, defense up against nature and try to bring her in against uh, in a war team against a strong uh, nature hero or two. And that timing never works out uh, perfectly. So it's really the other ones that matter the most, I think. And those are the ones they increased. So fantastic. And then um, let's take a look at these passives. Because uh, these Dunes costumes just get a boatload of passives. This one is the same as the original. 60% chance to boost health of all allies by 10%. And cleanse the latest cleansable status ailment from all allies. But, with this passive, guaranteed effect, the one before here is basically just add it to the special skill. It's going to happen. Forget that 60%. It's just going to happen. You're basically guaranteed to recover 64% health for all allies. Plus cleanse all allies of the latest cleansable status ailment. Which is pretty great. Um, this last little uh, passive is okay. 5% uh, additional health when they receive a buff or a positive stack. I'm wondering if that includes her own defense up against nature. <laughs> does, she, does she automatically just give herself the plus 5% uh, health? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but there's Head of Furies and that costume. Amos is the other hero that has a costume here. Um, slow speed. That's always been the thing that's uh, the drawback against Amos, except for Rush War. Um, they tweaked this just a little bit. Original was 400% damage to all enemies, and reflect 150% damage back, plus uh, status effects against fire for four turns. Then how they tweaked the numbers here is 410% damage to all enemies, Okay, so 10% plus this costume bonus, right? So that attack is going up anyway. Then we've got 160% instead of 150% damage back to the attacker. Um, and block other negative effects from enemies' fire special skills for three turns. So one fewer turn, but a little bit stronger. Not bad. If you've got Amos and you get this costume, you might as you might as well just do it. I don't know if he's worth chasing, but you know these bonuses are great. Uh, passive is the same: seventy percent chance to deal seventy percent damage and get mana generation down to all enemies. Instead of a hundred percent chance to activate, you get three chances to activate. So I I don't think that means like if it successfully activates you're done um i guess there's a there's a chance that you could actually just deal 210 percent damage to all enemies and get 
like whatever that is, 72% mana generation down for three turns? Is, is that how that actually works? Um, I think that's correct, but somebody correct me if, uh, if you know otherwise. Um, yeah, that three times to activate is pretty great. Um, of course, you could get just, it could miss three times too. Um, finally, we have a sand damage resistance in this character, which makes him strong against uh, some other Dunes characters, uh, Vaishali, um, some others. Um, so there's Amos, and of course, Yahangir. Uh, and of course, we have the, the featured costume for, for Hathor. Any of these heroes with costumes would be great. I would love Hedefiris because I already have her um, leveled up. Um, Hathor, obviously, is a, is a prize. Amos, I, I would level him up eventually. Um, so let's just do some superstition pulls. Okay, a couple twos. A couple twos. Feeling good. All right, we'll, we have all of one pull here. But just to make this a little bit more exciting, I've been meaning to do some uh, more birthday summons and maybe some legendary troops. So let's attack uh, those on at the end here. Whoops, where did we go? Here's my one pull to rule them all. Come on. <laughs> Jarif. Yep, that's just fine. Okay, um, let's go in, do some troop summons. Um, I have a fair amount of druid and barbarian heroes in, in, in different colors that are pretty good. So if I pull anything here, it could be worth it. Um, so let's see what happens. I'll just do one 10 pull. Nope. Some three-star junk. Three-star junk. Come on. Three-star junk. Oh, oh man, a troops. Four-star. Might not get anything this time. Come on. That looks like a no for me. I think that was ten. Was that ten? That's ten. That's got to be ten. Yeah, okay. No luck there at all. Let's open this chest. Probably junk. A one-star trainer troop. Woo. All right. That's okay. And I've also been meaning to do some birthday summons. I've been watching videos of people doing 30 after 30 after 30 and just getting crap. Um, so I was thinking about saving up for a 30. And I, I just can't justify those, uh, those odds. These odds are not great, but... And then again, one more ten pull. Uh, uh, I tweaked because I think I think Timius and Pepperflame are just two of the top heroes here. Still need more green, more yellow um, in my bench, so put Desmond in there, and let's just let's just see what happens. Uh, here is one ten pull. On Windier. Probably get nothing. Oh, Milena! That's excellent. That's excellent. She is super powerful. I've I know she's old, but she's still usable, and I I never pulled her. So that's a new hero for me. Ooh, Steropes is actually a pretty good hero too in four star. So not one of the huge prizes. Um, but still a pretty good prize. I'm happy about that. Bonus draw is <laughs> Francine. Uh, might use her at some point. I don't know. But hey, Milena, with all of that cleanse and recover health, and then the dispel buff on second charge with a big hit to all, definitely will be usable. Definitely will add her to the, to the roster. So welcome, and uh, thanks everybody for watching the video. Oops, let's do that too. Oh, Damascus Blade and Rings. Well, hello. Hello, everybody. Um, 